All the chatter in financial media is negative, right? And individual investors, guess what? They're jittery. They really are. So where should you be right now? Here with more uh, as president of Payne Capital Management, a group, by the way, I'm not affiliated with, Ryan Payne. Ryan, you know, it's so interesting. Um, uh, you, you actually say that this market is disconnected and dislocated. So explain that one for us. Well, you know, Charles, us pains are about unstoppable prosperity. So when I look at things right now, I think the big, the big thing you're seeing right now is, you know, in the headlines, it's like the economy and the market are disconnected. The reality of it is they're always disconnected, Charles. Let's face it, the market's future looking and the market's called it right. The market said that the economy was going to reopen quicker, which it has. The economic day has been very, very good. And I think that's going to continue. However, I'm getting a little nervous about tech stocks here, Charles. I mean, if you start looking at the valuations on tech stocks, it's starting to look reminiscent of what we saw back in 99, 2000. I mean, literally, you've got double the valuation on your big five tech versus the rest of the S&P. Right. So what I think is important right. here so, yeah, is – go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no, I'm just saying you would never, though, equate uh, Apple now to Pets.com in 2000, right? Uh, but I want to follow that line of thinking. And, and here's the thing. We've been talking rotation, right? I'm no fan of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. I think it's an antiquated index. But – Everyone uses it as a proxy, Ryan. I think when that turns positive, we're actually going to see the floodgates open for Main Street investors because individual investors are not really pouring into this market outside of the millennials. If that does happen, where would you move some of this money from tech? What would be some of the newer names you look at or areas? Well, I think one thing you got to focus on right now is the weakening dollar. That's been a big trend. And if you actually look at the last three months, international has actually outperformed U.S. market. So I like big cap international. I like Europe. Um, I like anything that has to do with the economy reopening, you know, companies like Toyota. Um, that definitely has to do with Europe in better shape. And let's face it, Europe was in Asia. They were first in. They're going to be first out of this thing. If you start looking at the manufacturing numbers, they're getting a lot better overseas. And every time that dollar goes down, those profits, which are in those different countries, right. You know, currencies, that's like kind of like a double whammy in terms right. of like a kicker on your performance. There's no doubt about it. The dollars drifted so low that the, the now folks are saying, oh, man, we're in trouble. It won't be the reserve currency. Before I let you go, though, you know, uh, you're not you got a lot of company. And that uh, Bank of America money manager survey, the number one uh, buy for them right now is Eurozone. Second is emerging markets. But someone watching this show, they're like, well, how the heck do I buy that? Is there a symbol? We're, what, how does someone actually go about getting exposure to the Eurozone or to these emerging markets? Yeah, well, I'm a simple man, so I like to keep it simple, Charles. And I think, look, you can go with the Vanguard Emerging Market Index, VWO. It's got a very, very low expense. It's capitalization weighted. I also like the VEA. That's the Vanguard Developed Market Index. You know, both those are doing really well. They're starting to rebound here. And also, I mean, I also think about commodities as well. You know, there's no coincidence that the inflation numbers two weeks ago were very, very good. Commodity price has been going up as well. You can buy a couple ETFs that have that exposure also. But I think you have to start positioning right. your portfolio for inflation as well.